Hello friends! Today I want to show you two games, one of which I really like and one of which I don't. But these two games are very similar. The only major differences between them are, well, kind of everything, <laughs> but also their reward structure and their theming. At their core mechanics, these games are not that different, as I'm sure you will be able to tell soon. But one of them goes to great lengths to make sure that you have a nice reward system in the game and that the theming feels really cohesive and also acts as guidance, while the other one just kind of throws you into the water and just lets you play. And for me personally, that didn't work as well. So, today we're going to have a look at Cats Organized Neatly and Mosaic Box. Yes, these are maybe a few <laughs> games that you haven't heard of before, but isn't that interesting as well? Now, please don't understand this video as a hate piece for Cats Organized Neatly. I personally don't like the game very much, but I'm sure there are lots of people that enjoy it. And if you enjoy it, then more power to you. It just wasn't for me. I am just using it to illustrate a point because, again, I found another game that is quite a lot like it that I think just kind of does that idea a lot better. So anyway, let's get into it. So, this is Cats Organized Neatly. This is a very small game that's all about organizing cats. Let's go ahead and play a level. I'm currently in chapter 3, but let's do an earlier level so we kind of get the idea of the game a bit better. So, you can see we are given a bunch of cats. Cats come in different shapes and then we are given a box. And we can place the cats in the box. Sorry, the controls are a little bit whack. But we can place the cats in the box to fill out the box. And if we manage to successfully do so all the way through, then we beat the level. So I can fill... Oh, that's a very cute one. Look at how small this one is. And there we go. We have beaten the level. We have filled out the box and now we can go into the next level. And then there's just another level with more cats. And we place the cats in the boxes. And then uh, we have organized the cats neatly. And then we go to the next level. And at first, this game is really straightforward, right? You just go through the levels fairly quickly. At least that was my experience with it because it's all quite easy. And as you go through the levels, you're just kind of given new cats. Now, that's not happening right now. Usually the game would have a little pop-up that says, hey, here's a new cat. Um, again, that's not happening at the moment because I've already beaten these levels. So please don't hold that against the game. That is its primary reward system. After you beat a level, you feel happy about beating that level and then you're given a new cat, which is hopefully big and exciting for you. And this didn't work. Okay, so I gotta figure out a better way to place these cats, I suppose. Uh, the tricky part will be, how do I fit you too. Maybe I can just kind of go like this. Ah, haha, there we go. Very nice. We have organized these cats neatly. And then we go on to the next level. Now, uh, let's go into a later level, right? Wait, how do I get out of the level? Here. Ah, sorry. Yes, go back to the main menu. We go into a later level. So this is where I'm currently at. I'm at level 29. <laughs> we have just unlocked a new cat. Dita von Cheese. She loves to eat, but somehow never gains any weight. And uh, now we have to put the cat into our organizational stuff and organize the cat into it. And this is where the game kind of drives me mad. So I need to... Okay. I haven't beaten this level yet. And I, I don't know how to, so... Uh, we've got to just figure this out together, right? Like, maybe I can go like this. This uh, The corner seems to be the most difficult part. And we've got one small one that we can kind of squeeze in like so. And then we've got these big boys here. But the problem is, now I can't fit this chonkus. So how do I fit this giant cat? I mean, the obvious answer, right, is that the giant cat is supposed to go in here. That feels obvious, but then what do I do with this one? I mean, I can't really fit these super well. This doesn't this doesn't work at all. Dear God, this is I'm I don't <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know how to solve it. Oh god, this is going to be embarrassing. I mean, if this takes me an hour, we're just gonna fast forward to the solution. But, okay. But we are going to try to solve this, because this is, this is the experience that you have with Cats Organized Neatly, right? It's about us figuring this out. Now, the game doesn't give you any help here, right? And it just kind of expects you to figure it out. Go ahead, organize these cats. Now, I'm not saying that help needs to come in the form of necessarily a hint or anything like that, but help can come in the form of structure, which you're going to see in Mosaic Box. But let's first figure this out here. Is this arrangement maybe not right? Well, I have no idea, right? And that's kind of like my point a little bit, is that the game just doesn't give you any... Oh, I figured it out. I got it. Oh my god, okay. Oh, we did it. So the game doesn't give you any guidance on which direction you're even supposed to go, right? So you can sit there puzzling for a long time without fe without knowing if you're actually making any progress, right? But we, we solved it. We solved level 29. So let's go to the next level. It's just more cats. Okay, so now we need to organize them, right? We're in level 30 and we just immediately get back to it. There's no break in the action. We're just immediately organizing more cats. Okay, so I guess you fit in the corner. I've got some of these small ones. Those are adorable. I do have to say that the game is very cute. I mean, that's like the whole point of it, right? I can fit you into this corner. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a big hater of these long ones, but we can kind of fix some some problems uh this fits nicely here uh-huh but this is completely useless i need to figure out what to do with this one i think this is probably the most problematic cat we have i can fill this in here you can come down there and now i just have another big lad that's just left over so this is actually impossible to solve from this position. Yeah. Look, I'm just going to stop it here. <laughs> I think you get what I was trying to communicate here, right? Cats Organized Neatly is a game that is just about organizing cats. But it doesn't give you any guidance. It doesn't really give you any reward system. It doesn't really give you any structure. You beat, you beat a level, and then you're gonna just go and organize more cats. And in that way, it's actually a very mentally taxing game. I haven't played much of it, because every time I play it, it just feels like it's draining so much of my brain power so quickly. Alright, let me show you a weird 2008 game that I found today. Let's have a look at Mosaic Box. All right, friends, Mosaic Box is an older game, which is why it's 4x3. Let's go ahead and head into it. Now, Mosaic Box is a mixture of what we just saw with a music game and a, one of those a hidden object games. You can see we are in a room right now. This is room number two. This is room number one where you start out in. You can see up here in the top left corner how many things we still have to discover in this room. But let's not do that right now. Let's focus on something else. Let me show you how this game is actually played. Now, I've already solved a bunch of these puzzles, but I've actually gone and unsolved them for you so I can show you how it works. So you may notice that this game also has shapes, just like cats organized neatly, right? We have little shapes. But the shapes... They have symbols on them. And very importantly, we can go down here and listen to some music. So we, we are given the task to recreate this music with the shapes. We can click on the shapes and it will play snippets of this music for us. But each of the different colors represents a different instrument.
So what I can do is I can go into my little box here, into my filling out field, I suppose. I can just start filling it out if I want to. But just because I randomly filled it out doesn't mean it's correct. As you can see, this is wrong. If I play it back now... It doesn't sound right. It's not correct. We know that. So how can we make sure that it's correct? And this is where this game gives us some extra guidance. We have the music, right? We can check. So this should be number two, right? So this goes here. That means this goes here because we cannot have overlap. This isn't allowed. Right? This will not work. We can only have one instrument playing at a time. And then we can check down here which one makes the most sense. This seems like it fits. Maybe something like this? There you go. So, we have solved the first puzzle of the game. So this was literally the very first one, right? The easiest one. And they get increasingly more complex. So this right here is Yankee Doodle. You can see we have a lot more shapes. And this time around, we can fill this out pretty easily if we want to, right? Um, but, well, sorry, that's actually... <laughs> this time around, we can... Like, we need to make sure that these fit. Right? So we could just fill it out randomly, but just by filling out randomly, we'll run into the problem of like, okay, wait, if I do it like this, I actually don't have a one block piece that would fit up there. Right? So I need to keep that in mind. In that way, to me, this game is very similar to Cats Organized Neatly. However, where Cats Organized Neatly would just let you fiddle around with this until you eventually figure it out randomly, in Mosaic Box, we are given guidance because we have music. So, Let's find the opening. That looks like, that seems like the opening to me, right? That sounds about right. So let's just put this into the top left corner here for now. Then what comes afterwards? We can, this down here will always be the main instrument, which is always the red one. So we can only check for that. Everything else we'll have to figure out by ourselves. That sounds right. So let's put this here. Then what comes afterwards? That seems good as well. And then we just need to find the last bits and these are probably like so. Very good. And at this point, we can actually just fill it out. There's a good chance that it will just work if we just fit everything, because it's still a pretty early level. And now we get to listen to the music that we've created. And this is, I think, a fantastic reward for this game. Because you're sitting here, you're listening to it, you're piecing it together, and then when you're done, you get some fun music. What's also really cool about this game is to be able to do these puzzles, you need to collect these little bits of the maps or whatever, music letters. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what they're actually called. But you need to collect these. And that's what the number nine is up here. 
So I can go into the room and I can click on the variety of different things that are around and I can manipulate the room to collect these, right? Like I can actually physically change the room. Like I can turn on the lamp here, knock this over and then there's one down there. And by doing this, I then unlock puzzles I can do. But to me, this is really, really sick because what it does is it gives the player a bit of a break, right? I have to also solve this little relaxing thing here before I get to just go to the grinding of the, um, you know, actually solving the, the puzzles. You're just given these moments of respite. And I think that goes a really, really long way. Letting players breathe and letting them just kind of relax a little bit is incredibly, incredibly helpful in terms of creating a less stressful atmosphere. Now, uh, let's go ahead and do this bad boy. This level was the one where I decided that I think this game is just blatantly amazing. I have really really love Mosaic Box. We uh, just randomly started playing it, so I've been going through my Steam library, just kind of playing random stuff that's in there. And, well, not random stuff, I mean, going through it, right? Like, over the years, I've accumulated a lot of games through all kinds of sales and promos and whatever. And a lot of the games I had never played. So I just kind of wanted to make a point to at least try all of them. I'm not going to beat all of them. I'm going to play a little bit of all of them, but I will try all of them. And um, this is a game that we, as a result of that, started playing uh, earlier today. And honestly, everybody is just having a great time. It's really cool. So let's listen to this song. So we just have the violin. Hey, let's find the violin. That sounds like the ending to me, right? Yes, I think that's the ending. So let's just kind of put this here for the moment. That seems to fit fine. Let's see if we can find the opening. That's too fast, right? So that seems to be number three and number four. That lines up, that fits here. Very good. Let's see if we can find the opening. That doesn't seem like the opening. Oh, it is. Very good. Let's put the opening here then. Oh, we got to be careful. No, that's not right. That doesn't go here yet. Right? What do we have here? That's the one. So we put this here. And I'm guessing then this should be number f six here. Yes, that's number six. We put number six here. And then the only one left, because again, we can't overlap stuff, is this. Now at this point, we can start just going by shapes, right? So we could fill this in and this in. But now you realize, oh, what we did earlier our earlier layout doesn't actually work. It doesn't fit. But we can just move some stuff around, right? Because we know that we are at least in the right direction right now. Like that is a given. And is this correct? Ah, it is not. This is not right. So unlike um, Cats Organized Neatly, here it's not just about filling it out, but you also have to fill it out in the correct order. Uh, let's listen to it. That seems good. That doesn't seem right. So this ending bit, that does seem correct. Now we can't really move these. 
So there isn't really that much moving we can even do, to be honest. Mate, is this ending bit correct? Let's have a look. That does seem right, no? Let's listen to this here. Otherwise, I wonder if this would fit here. I mean, it could continue on, yeah. I think this would be fine. There you go. And now our reward. And what a wonderful reward. To me, the fact that this game gives us breaks in the action, lets us have something as a reward for beating a level, and also gives us guidance during the levels themselves, makes for a much, much more enjoyable experience. And maybe it's easier as a result, maybe it's not, but for me, this is a game where I'm excited to continue playing it. And unfortunately, I actually can't recommend it. We played it earlier, uh, played 90 minutes of it, and then it crashed and I lost all of my progress. So it is a bit of an older one. Uh, I say proceed with caution. It's not expensive. I think it's like four bucks at this point. But um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't seem to be too stable, right? Uh, but let's maybe do another level. Let's do another level. We can... What did we just unlock? We unlock this, right? We also get these pieces for beating levels. So that's another way to unlock them. All right, then. So. Now, the shapes on the pieces do actually matter as well. They indicate kind of the rhythm of it, I guess. I'm not a very musical person. Please forgive me if I'm saying the wrong words, right? All right, let's find the opening. That seems like the opening, right? Yeah, that's the opening. All right, let's put that in there right away. Let's find number two. That sounds like number two. Number three. I mean, I am just cruising right now. Although, here's an interesting thing. If I want this to be in position 3, the only way that is possible is here, right? I can't fit this anywhere else. Huh. And then this right here, we know defaults into 4 and 5. And we know that it has to be down here. It doesn't fit anywhere else. Because I can't place it here. This obviously doesn't work. So it needs to be down here in one of these two. And I think that's interesting as well. Let's check. Okay, I think that's right. Well, let's see what else we can figure out. Now, for these right here, we don't have the same level of guidance as we have up here, right? We can use this as guidance, but it's a bit more difficult. Maybe we can find the ending. Is that this? That seems about right. And this maybe? Yeah, these seem right. So these are probably the ending bits here, right? Uh, we can slot them in there. And then you can see here, these are all fours. So there's a very high chance that this also just fits. Very good. Okay. And then we have a couple of them left here, right? This seems like it's more in the middle of things. 
But now we need to actually worry about how to fit this in here. This seems like it would probably go here. No, here? Nope. There we go. So this is row free. Okay, and now we need to figure out how to make this stuff fit, because this is where it gets a bit tricky. Now, um, I guess really the only way it would even work is like that. There we go. Alright, I think I'll leave it at that. I just found this to be really interesting, how these are two games that are actually quite similar, but the execution is so different and for me created a fundamentally different experience, where one of them is a joke on my stream, where chat keeps trying to get me to play it because they know I really do not like it. And the other one, we were all horribly disappointed when it crashed earlier and we lost our progress because we wanted to keep playing. I really like Mosaic Box. I didn't expect that to be the takeaway from my day today. I just thought, you know what, <laughs> let's try this random game in my Steam library. And now here I am praising it. Uh, but it is actually just a fantastic game and I really enjoyed it. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.